Hello, my name is Daniel Moore, and today I'll be showing off my Pokemon Tracker application. For this application, it was a group project between me and two of my colleagues. My two colleagues handled the front end, the first page you see here, as well as the results page, which you'll see next. And I handled the entire back end, which included the fetch requests and handling the page population with data. So the first thing is you can search by name or you could search by generation and type or you could just search by generation or just search by type. So first, let's search for a generation one water type. Hit search and you'll be met with all this information here. A list of Pokemon cards that are water type from generation one. Now the difference between the Pokemon game and the card game is that you can have Pokemon of different types with a water type card. So in this case, Pokemon like, um, like this Pokemon Sandshrew, this Pokemon is actually a ground type Pokemon. However, it has a water type card. So searching by uh, actual type. So uh, I was planning on cross referencing this with a actual Pokemon API, like from the Pokemon video game. However, that would leave cards like this in uh, in different type sections. So if you were to search for a ground type or search for, uh, yeah, if you were to search for a ground type Pokemon, the name Sandshrew would get filtered into that. And you'd be given water type cards, which is not how the game works. So simply searching using the TCG API was perfect for this. Like here we have Ninetales, which is actually a fire type Pokemon. And let me search for Pikachu. Here we have a list of all the Pikachu cards. Click on this one. See the market price for the normal, reverse holofoil, and holofoil. You click the Pokemon the Pokeball in the bottom right. It'll save it into your card collection here, which you can access from the top right. And then you can see a list of all of your previously saved Pokemon cards. And this is all saved through local storage. <clears throat> Alright, so here's a look at the back end. See all the stuff that I, all the work that I had put into it. So here we have all the instantiation of the elements to manipulate the front page. And here we have the three different search types, searching by generation by type and by name. And searching by generation and type is specifically through the Pokemon API. While searching by name is through the Pokey API, which is just a list of all the Pokemon's names and is separate from the TCG API TCG being trading card game, while the Poke API is uh, specifically the just general purpose video game information. And here we're just generally sorting the cards. Here is creating the different elements that you see populating the results page with all their different IDs and information. And then upon clicking a card, this allows for the modal to pop up. And then these, these are the functions that run the query to send back the information. And this is filling out that information to see if there's any sort of the different prices to see if those different prices exist for the reverse holofoil, the normal, the regular holofoil.
and then this is where you handle the start page search which puts the information into the URL so then I can get the information on the main page and run that code using the URL parameters the add event listeners for the different buttons that are clicked here this is where we get all of the saved cards that you have in your saved cards section that's locally stored and then this is where we post those saved cards and moving on to the main page this is simply just getting that information and storing it into the URL here's the front-end code which I touched very little of again another discrepancy between the card game and the actual Pokemon game is that colorless is typically referred to as normal type we originally had tried to set the equivalents from the card game and the actual video game so this would say normal type however it was just easier and assuming you you know what you're talking about when you're dealing with Pokemon cards you'll know it's called colorless okay and that's pretty much it thank you for watching hope you have a great day